not a basic YouTuber yet. On some real shit, that is the best smelling candle in the entire world. So we gonna leave that lit. This little glare is gonna drive me up the wall. Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? This is my second video that I'm filming this week. I'm so proud of myself. Like. You don't even know. Actually, this video is not even like planned or anything. Like I had a full face of makeup on with nowhere to go. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna throw the camera on and like wing it. <laughs> we gonna figure this out together. Hey, baby. Oh, the babies wanna be in the video. Hey, hi, YouTube, hi, everybody. <laughs> this is every day. <sighs> this is the bomb. What's the point of this video? Oh, okay. Anyways, I wanted to show you guys what is in, I guess you could say like my travel bag. This for a while was my everyday makeup. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Like I lost inspiration like completely and I was wearing the same damn thing every single, I think I have a dog fur. Oh yeah, that's definitely, oh my God. I think I have a fur ball in like my eyelash somewhere. Get it out, oh God. I keep getting distracted. Come on, girl. I don't know, I just kept doing the same makeup look every day. It was just like my go-to. It was easy and it, it worked. I just fell into a routine and this little makeup bag is literally the only thing that I would reach for every time that I would do my makeup. Like, I have a crap ton of makeup, guys. Like, if you know me, you know how much makeup I actually have. But this was like my everyday, like, on the go, bring it with me when I go on vacation, like literally for anything and everything, it was all in here. I figured for most people like that are not totally makeup obsessed like I am, like this would probably be a really good like little, I guess kind of like a starter kit or like a travel kit or whatever. So I figured that I would show you guys what I have in here because it has everything essentially. I mean, it's everything that you really need. If you're wondering where I got this most gorgeous little bag, this bag is so cute guys. Like. Look at this tartan and twine. I got it from Ulta. You open it up and you have a little space for all your brushes. You have two pouches. This little area is usually where I keep whatever eyeshadow palette I decide to bring with me. And then you also have like a little zipper right here. I usually keep either this eyeshadow palette or this one in my bag. I freaking love this palette. Like, obviously I have used the absolute crap ton out of this palette. Look how dirty it is. This is a really good like everyday palette, but then also if you want to switch it up and like do like a smoky eye or like add some color or you know, just glam it up. This is a great palette. So that's one palette, but then I switched it up because I don't know, I just felt like switching it up because I went to Ulta and I saw this palette and I was like, oh my God, that's perfect. It's petite and it's got like almost everything I need. It's got your six essential eyeshadows. It's got two highlighters and then a blush, which is awesome for on the go. Oh, by the way, these pouches are removable. So this is the foundation that I usually use. It's the L'Oreal True Match. I absolutely love this foundation. Like this is like my tried and true go-to. The primer that I like to use is, which I don't think this is technically a primer, but I like to use this underneath my foundation. It's by Peter Thomas Roth and it's the 24 karat gold pure luxury lift and firm prism cream. Wow, that's a mouthful. It's expensive, but I freaking love this stuff. This bottle is like $42, and this is my second one that I've bought. Like, I bought one, ran out, fell in love, had to get another one, bought another one, and I am literally almost out of this one too. So this just gives you that extra little glow. I'm pretty sure that NYX has something that is similar to this, which would be a good affordable alternative, but I've never tried it before, so I can't really put my name on it. These two are staples, but they are so big. Like the, the bottles themselves are just too big for me to put in this little travel bag. I decided to move them over to these little tiny, whoa. I decided to migrate them over to these little tiny skirt bottles. Depending on how I'm feeling, I'm either gonna be using the L'Oreal True Match or for lighter coverage, the IT Cosmetics has become my new baby. The CC cream, I would say it's buildable coverage. It's not necessarily full coverage. You can make it full coverage. It still feels like it's your skin. It doesn't feel like you have 30 pounds of makeup on you. Next is my Maracuja Oil from Tarte. And I just recently started using this maybe I would say like three months ago. And this, I, I can't even believe that I've gone this long without using this. Oh my god. Oh my god. This 
makes your foundation go on so silky smooth it's not even funny i mix it with my foundation stipple it onto my face the foundation like i can't even explain it sinks into your face it doesn't just sit on your face it sinks into your face it's a little dropper just like one two drops at most no more than that this is the travel size i got this for 16 dollars. i've used this every single time i put my makeup on and i wear makeup like four or five times a week I have not used a lot like it is down to right there this little $16 travel size bottle is literally gonna last me for the rest of my life <sighs> calm down I'm like running out of breath talking about my favorite products okay. Woo! okay dead air same thing with concealer depending on how I'm feeling I'm either gonna use this one or I'm gonna use this one I like to mix this in particular with the maracuja oil because it's very thick but it's full coverage but with the maracuja oil when I mix it it's like the perfect combo this one the little squirt bottle is the NYX gotcha covered it's waterproof which is cool depending on how I'm feeling I, I might throw this one in my bag so this one is full coverage but it's more like opaque HD concealer by NYX oh guys okay this eyeliner has legit and I've talked about this eyeliner on this channel before even in older videos I can't even tell you how many years I have used this eyeliner it's, it's just been my favorite eyeliner it does a job it doesn't flake it's dark and it's cheap it's the Maybelline line stiletto I've tried other eyeliners guys I am not totally like tunnel vision like I am open to trying new things but this is the one that I always come back to in a way this video is like my holy grail like ride or dies you know what I mean this is deceiving because this is not the urban decay all-nighter spray this is just the container the container itself is very convenient it fits my bag perfectly it's not the urban decay all-nighter setting spray which I do like but it's expensive and I feel like this one does a good enough job. This is by NYX. It's the NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. The eyeshadow primer. I have used this primer ever since I started doing makeup from the moment that I picked up my first eyeshadow brush. This was the primer that I started with. I'd like to say that I'm open to products and trying new things and everything, but honestly, I've never really tried any other eyeshadow primer. Like, shame on me. I know that there's so many great eyeshadow primers out there. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? This is the Urban Decay Original eyeshadow primer it works the NYX micro brow pencil it's got your little tiny pencil on one side the other side has the spoolie and this is like eight dollars at Ulta and it does the job this is another new like ride or die like guys I can't tell you how many mascaras I have tried in my lifetime and I have never fell so in love so quickly with a mascara before in my entire life until I found this one. And this one just came out recently, I was in the last few months. It's the um, L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. It does take, for me at least, it takes two coats to get my lashes to where I need them to be. Another product from NYX. How many NYX products do I have? I have a lot. I'm gonna have to count. This is what I use to set my brows. So I pencil them in and then I set them in place. This is the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara. Okay, so that pouch is empty. Next, next pouch is my powders. I have this little tiny microscopic beauty blender. This is my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. The actual container is big and it, there's no way in hell that it would ever fit in this little bag. I took a Bare Minerals eye, eyeshadow container, I emptied it out, cleaned it, and then put the Laura Mercier powder in here because it's tiny. This next product, it, it's such a sad story. This is Becca Cosmetics Champagne Pop and it broke and I was so sad that day. I think I cried. You know, life goes on. Put the remainder in here. Still gets its shine on, so it's all good. I mean, you know. I have my bronzer, and it's almost out. This is from Too Faced. It's the Beach Bunny Bronzer. And then this one, my contour. Chocolate Sol... How do you say this? Chocolate Solal... 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 Sol sol Medium Deep Matte Bronzer. And because it is a matte finish, there is no shimmer to it. I like to use this as my contour. That's it for like the actual products, like the face products. Next is honestly just my brushes. This is all I got left. I just got brushes. My blush brush, 
my bronzer brush. This is my translucent powder brush. So this is what I use to wipe away the bake. And this is my foundation brush. I recently fell in love with this brush, like a few months ago. It's by It Cosmetics. Airbrush Blurring Foundation Number 101. My contour brush, I've had this brush for years. My mom gave this to me in like a MAC holiday collection brush kit or something like that. And I love this brush. Like this brush is amazing for contour. This is my highlighter brush. This is by Real Techniques. This one is by It Cosmetics. This one is the one that I use for my concealer. And it's similar to my foundation brush. It's just smaller. And it's got that nice, I guess, kind of like stiffness to it. Oh God, this is a holy grail for me. This is like for sure a holy grail. This is the best brush that I've ever used to contour my nose because of the shape. It's by Artiste. These are the three eyeshadow brushes that I love to use. So this is like my blending brush, my pencil brush, and then like a little flat paddle brush. And I use this brush for highlighting my brow bone area and my inner corner. I use this brush for either getting into the, the crease of my eyeball, my eyelid, and then also underneath my lower lash line. And then this is good for all over color and then also blending colors in. I mean, I probably could throw in like a little paddle brush like for good measure, but I mean, these are the three that just, they work for me as far as like everyday makeup goes because I'm not doing like a complicated, like overly done up glammed eyeshadow like on a daily basis or when I travel or anything like that. You know, if you're just getting into makeup and you need to figure out like what the most essential products are to get you by and like not just to like, like you're barely wearing any makeup, but like if you want to glam it up or you know, it, like it's, it's just so diverse. Like, I mean, so if you want to look like you're barely wearing any makeup or if you want to look super, super glammed up, like everything that you need can fit in here. You don't need to have a full arsenal of makeup products to, you know, be super, super glam. As far as lip product goes, I always have like my lip products in my purse. I usually stick with neutrals for like every day or traveling. So usually I go with either a Praline Rose, which is an awesome everyday color, but you can also like do it up at nighttime. Bombshell is a really pretty, like I'm barely wearing any lipstick, but I'm still wearing lipstick color. Pink Champagne is another one of my like major go-tos. And this is like Bombshell. Like, it looks like you're not wearing any lipstick, but you are, but it's just pinker. Bombshell is more like nude. And then this is a good lip color that's good for every day, but it's still like, it's more bold. So these four are like my go-tos. Oh, Caramel Latte, the last one. Caramel Latte, Pink Champagne, Praline Rose, and Bombshell are my four go-to lip shades, like for when I'm traveling, for every day, just colors that I always keep on me. So yeah, that's it guys. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I totally just spilled energy drink all over me. Cool. If you don't already, go follow me on my new Instagram. If you're still following me on my old Instagram, follow me on my new Instagram. This is gonna be the Instagram that I start posting to from now on because I just feel like I just needed new beginnings <laughs> with the old and with the new, you know what I mean? Also, for aesthetic reasons, like I wanted all of my usernames to match, which is like first world. <laughs> first world problems. So my Instagram, my uh, Twitter, I am going to be migrating over to my new Snapchat soon. I'm not ready for it yet. <laughs> so hard to let go. <laughs> Pinterest, I have a Facebook page that I'm not really using yet, but I wanted to claim it, so it's there. Okay, I'm done filming this video. I'm going to let you guys go. Please make sure that you subscribe if you have not subscribed already. It would be a huge help. You have no idea. And I will talk to y'all in the next video. Please make sure to leave some comments on video suggestions so that I know what to film next because I don't want to run out of things to film. Goodbye, everyone. Talk to you later. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe to my mommy. Mommy will be so happy. She'll give us treats and she'll love us forever. All right, I'm ending this video. Goodbye. See y'all later. Oh, uh -huh.